Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Demi. I'm here again with another video for your Streamio setup. So if you've been using Streamio for a while, you'll notice that if you use Streamio with real DeepPrint, you will have one big limitation, and that's only you can stream from it. So what happens if, you know, I'd want to share it to other people? I always believe that sharing is caring, and to that, I'd like to introduce Torbox to you. In this video, you will learn how to make your Streamio setup better with Torbox and Torrential. So we all know that Real Debrick has a lot of positives, which is it has a lot of content, it's been in the market longer, but the issue that we have as of recently is that they always limit you to one user and on a single session. And that can be very limiting if let's say a family member who you want to share the subscription with wants to use it and you also want to use it at the same time. Now that's no longer the case with Torbox because Torbox allows multi-user. It has a shared cache content and it's just getting better day by day. So you might be wondering what the heck is Torbox? Torbox is a premium seed box and they're essentially a cloud torrent client for media streaming services. You can visit Torbox in torbox.app, which is what I have over here. And they have a pretty interesting pricing structure. So to start, you actually can just go with a free $0 per month just to try out. There's Essential, which is the most popular one, and it's $3, which is pretty good. Personally, I use a standard, which is for the five concurrent slots, as I use it quite often. So just to start on this, since you haven't done this before, you can go on with the free $0 per month. Reason being is, it's free. Why not just try it? Just a segue here, if you are planning to subscribe to Torbox, do consider using my link down below so that you will get 15 free days. So now that you've decided on which subscription you're looking at, what you can do is press try now and create an account at the bottom left over here. So when you're done creating your account, you should log in and you should see something like this. On my screen right now, you will see that I have a lot of cached content under my downloads. Now we'll navigate to settings, which is at the top right corner over here, and go to settings. From here, you will find that you have an API key at the bottom, and that will be what is important to us later. If you haven't created a Streamio account, what you want to do is go to streamio.com, press download on Windows, or if you have other devices such as running on Mac, you can download on this one. And you go to log in, sign up with email to create your account. Once you've created your account, you'll go back and install this Tremio and log in. When you log in, it should look something like this. Now for me, I have a couple of items there already because I've been using it. But essentially what we'll need to go to is the add-ons page right here. Next, we will prepare Torrential, which is right here. So this is under torrential.org. What we'll do here is the same as what I've done in the previous video, which is to go down, press configure, and it will open up the Torrential configuration. So first, you'll look at the providers. I've heard some people were looking at a little bit more into this. Um, honestly, if you have any preference, you could just choose whichever you want. But for me, for this case, we're just doing a simple one. Over here at the debit provider, you can't see it in the video, but when you click on it, you'll actually have multiple choices. I'll put that on the screen. Now for this one, we'll choose Torbox and it should show you Torbox right there. Since we've already selected Torbox, we go back to Torbox here, take our API key using this copy API key button, go back to Torrential, key that in, and what we can do is, and then you will install. 
This will open up a pop-up. Press open link. Once that's done, go back to Stremio and you will see that it looks at Torrential TV. It will show you a bunch of information, but what you just need to do is press the install button. And with that, you should have Torbox within your Streamio. The next thing you might be wondering is, are we done? We're almost done. Now that you've added Torrential TV on your add-ons, what you can do is share this with your family members. Now if you click on share add-on over here, copy this link, and provide this to your friends or family, what they need to do is 1. Create a Stremio account 2. Go on to the add-ons page 3. Key in whatever you just copied and press add and they can install it and that's pretty much done. They should be able to use Stremio like you are using it. I hope this video has helped you along with your family and friends. We've covered a lot such as knowing about Torbox, Streamio, Torrentio, integration and how we share the add-ons. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.